While most of the west and northwest sides of the city were drastically affected by Monday's rioting, some places on the east side were hit as well in the late night, early morning hours, mostly by groups of young people, according to police. And we've been an integral part of East Baltimore, and I can't believe that they did this to our store. Harvey Levy, whose family owns the Sports Mart on North Exeter Street, watched on his cell phone from home as security footage showed looters entering his store and stealing virtually everything. Had over a million dollars worth of shoes in it, and uh, now it's pretty much empty. And I sat by the phone and watched them empty my building for four and a half hours while the police did nothing. This is outrage. Like I can't. This is something I can't even tell my kids. Explain to them why this happened. They just got to know that mommy don't, is out of a job because of this. Tracy Joyce, a longtime employee, is now out of a job. This is how I took care of my three children. Like, this now, like, what, like how are we going to come from this now? Like, this is, I, I, words can't even describe how I feel right now. All along Broadway and Fells Point, damaged storefronts. I'm just disappointed and heartbroken for our city. Um, since I'm a lifelong resident. I live here and I work down the street and just always promote involvement and everybody in the community working together. In Canton, the loading dock liquor store looted. It's outrageous. It's, it's very unnecessary. There's nothing peaceful about what's going on. And that's the whole stand. It's supposed to be peaceful. And in the Patterson Park area, a pharmacy vandalized. I'm more sad than angry and, and confused. You know, and my confusion is that. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's my neighborhood, and um, we, I'm contributing a lot to this neighborhood. Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.